Good morning. Good morning, everyone.
Good morning. Memawo Ache, which means good morning in the language of the tree, the tree people from Ghana, West Africa. Hello, my name is Baba Ira. Everybody knows for all the families out there who might not have known, I'm Baba Ira. I'm the male rite of passage facilitator. And today we're going to do our libation, which is our cultural tradition, um, not just at Imhotep, but uh, amongst the African diaspora from the world. And today, what we're going to talk about a little bit is we're just going to talk about do our libation from the perspective of a place called Ghana, which they say is one of the most peaceful places in the world. Ghana is located in West Africa. And Ghana actually has a very, very, very special place in the Imhotepian heart because whether, I don't know how many people know, but our founder, Mama Chris, had very great ties with Ghana. As a matter of fact, she brought many dignitaries and kings in what they call Asantehenis from Ghana to come to speak, to, to trade, to, to, to create bonds between the two um, places between America, specifically Imhotep, and many places in Ghana. As a result, many of our students went to Ghana as well. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention our wonderful tech person, tech, tech Mughal, Nana, brother Nana, good morning in the language of Twi. I hope I'm saying it right. Meme wo ache. Meme wo ache. All right, we're going to start by asking for permission from my elders to begin. Babalani, Mama Debbie, uh, um, and all of our elders, families. I'm, I'm assuming that you've given us permission to begin. All right, give me one second. All right, so we pull water. We have water, we have a plant down here. The plant represents life and the water represents life and it represents the circle of life. The idea that we all are born, one day we make transition, but our legacy and what we say and what we do will continue to live amongst our children and our ascendants. So we pour first to the source of life, Ache. We pour to the first civilizations on our planet. We know from archeology, span we know that from, from all types of evidence that the first people were people of African descent, the first people to create civilizations. We say Ache. We pour to what we call the great Ma'afa. The Ma'afa is the struggle against negativity, against all of those things that would have killed or destroyed or enslaved people of African descent. We say Ache. We wanna to pour to our freedom fighters. Um, our freedom fighters are the people who fought against oppression. And today, um, our, our freedom fighter for today is Ya Asantiwa. Um, can everyone say Ya Asantiwa? Very good. So Ya Asantiwa, we'll talk a little bit about Ya Asantiwa, but she was a warrior queen. And we wanna talk about what her role was with Ghana. We say Ache to her, Ache. We wanna to pour to our civil rights leaders and people who fought against um, th those oppressions, we say Ache. We pour to um, our family members, those people who we know would not, if, we, they, if it were not for them, we would not be here today. They are our legacy and we are, the, excuse me, we are their legacy. And just as our um, future, we will be there. So we say Ache. We pour, um, affirmation to everyone here in the in the building. All right, I said in the building because we, even though we're not at the physical space of Imhotep, we still embody Imhotep. Um, we embody Imhotep through our practice, through the way in which we communicate with each other, and our high respect for learning and education. Ache. And then finally, to our children and our children's children, so that they can. Go come back and see what we've done and be proud and then build a better and stronger nation um, based upon the foundation that we have laid. We say Ache, Ache, 
Achieu. All right. Okay. So I'm just trying something a little bit different, everybody. Let's do our affirmation statement. Um, all right. Moja and Billy Tattoo. We are descendants of great African fathers and great African mothers. We will have the pride, strength, and power of the motherland to help us do the things we must do because we must understand I am because we are and we are because I am. When I shine, the nation shines. And when the nation shines, we all shine. Hold tap, hold tap everybody. So again, what you see behind me is a traditional Asante wedding. This wedding happened in 2019, just last year. And so you can see tradition is very strong in Ghana, West Africa. What you're gonna notice, even right with the brother right here who's getting married, um, all of the gold that he has on. Uh, West Africa is known for his gold. That's what helped create the powerful kingdoms. That's his bride right there. And these kingdoms and queendoms um, were, were very rich. A part of that had to do with the, the gold and wealth, but also just because of the people. And one of the things that was powerful amongst the people is they had a stool. And this stool right here, I don't know if you can see it. This is my Ghanaian stool. This is what I've been sitting on. It has the, the symbol of Jinyame on it, which means accept God. Nothing except God. Nothing can com come before our creator or our source of life. And so in Ghana, there is a stool just like this, but it's made out of entirely gold. It's made out of gold. And the people believe that this stool is the spirit of the land. And so in the, six, the 1800s, the British people came to take control over Africa and specifically Ghana. And they wanted to capture this stool because they knew if they could take this golden stool, they could enslave the land. And Yah Asantewa was not having it. Neither did the other kings and queens of that time. And so it just to talks to you about the resilience of our people and how we fight against oppression. And to this day, they have not received or taken the golden school, the golden stool of the Asante people. So this, their spirit still lives today, as you can see in um, in this video. So that was just a little lesson to start your day. I hope you have a myotic day. Um, don't forget to sign in so that we can make sure that our attendance is correct and um, make sure you do your work in this hard time. And just remember that our people will strive through any obstacle. You are a part of that legacy and we care about you. We love you and we want you to have a very myotic day. So I'm gonna turn this up and I'm just gonna jam a little bit more um, for this wedding that's happening. Thank you so much. Have a myotic day.